from time to time your website needs attention and care. For instance, you may have to install an update or a security fix so that your website operates as smoothly as possible. But often, doing these updates may cause an interruption to your website, giving your visitor an ugly error message if they visit the site while you are updating it. That's when the maintenance mode page comes in. Its primary purpose is to give your visitor a friendly notice that your website is temporarily unavailable. In this video, I will show you how to create a maintenance mode page using Elementor. And the best part? You can do it for free. So stay tuned and after a couple of minutes you have created a maintenance mode page for your WordPress website. Okay, so creating a maintenance mode page with Elementor is a very straightforward thing to do. So first uh, you will find templates navigation item here on the left and under templates choose add new and what you will do next is that you will choose a template type and give your template a name so we are creating a maintenance mode template which means that uh, you can reuse the same page over and over and over again and it's of course a very handy time saver because you do not have to create the maintenance mode from scratch every time. So that's why creating a template is a really great thing to do and, and can truly save your time. Okay, so first uh, you will choose a template type which in our case is going to be page and then you will give your template a name. And uh, let me just name it like maintenance mode template because it's very descriptive name for our page and then I click create template and let Elementor do its magic on the background and here is the design view that you will see next. Now this is not the view that we want to show to the visitor so we have to make some tweaks into this view so that we can then start designing our actual maintenance mode page. So uh, there is this gear icon or settings icon here at the bottom left. So click on this icon and next you will have to change the page layout. So instead of choosing the default option uh, you should choose elements or canvas and as you can see that this description changes no header no footer and all that so you will have to change that uh, option there and next what will happen is that this whole design area changes and then you are actually ready to get started with the maintenance mode page design. In my case I have created a structure for my maintenance mode page so let's follow this structure it's a very simple one and I think in general keeping things simple is a great practice. Of course you may have your own specifications and what you want to show on the maintenance page but in this particular case I have an image at the top and then I have some basic text under that image. So let's start with adding the image first. So when I go back to the Elementor design area uh, all I have to do is just to grab this image and then drag it into the design area. So let me do it like that. Let me track the widget there and you will see this image placeholder. Now obviously you will have to choose the actual image, so how do you do that? Well here on the left you will see choose image and when you hover your mouse pointer over this area you will see this choose image text so click on that one 
And next what you can do is that you can uh, find your preferred image that you are about to use on your maintenance page. In my case, I have the image already in media library, but alternatively you can also upload images from your computer. But in our case, I have this image, this uh, toolbox already in the media library. So I will choose that one and I click insert media. And now I have my image at the top of the page. But let's continue with the design and what I will do next, uh, I'm able to go back to the elements view by clicking this, this icon here on the left. So it's a handy way to get back to the elements list. But anyways, when I go back to my uh, maintenance mode uh, page or the structure that I have created, so next what I'm going to do is that I'm going to copy this text into my clipboard. And now the element that I will choose for my text is going to be text editor. So it's all about tracking and dropping this element into this area here. So let me drop it there. And as you can see that uh, it already con contains some default text, but we want to change that. So here on the left, you will see a text editor and I will just replace this text with my uh, text, copy and paste. And there we have it. There we have our text for our maintenance page. So. I need to do some formatting because clearly what you will see right now is not the type of look that I want to have on my maintenance mode page. So let me just do some formatting. Let me take out some extra spacing first like this and let me center the text. And by the way, uh, as you can see that here we have a line center icon. Uh, if for some reason you are not able to see these two rows, these two rows of icons in the text editor, you can toggle this view on and off by clicking this toggle a toolbar toggle icon. So uh, sometimes uh, you may have only this type of view in your text editor, but when you click on this icon, you will see more of these icons. And here we have the align center icon. But most importantly, our text is now centered, but I'm not happy with this design yet. So I want to make a couple of tweaks. And first of all, let me do some changes into our uh, page title. So website under maintenance, I want it to stand out much better. So I will do a couple of things. First of all, let me just bold this header by clicking the bold icon. And I will also change this text from a paragraph into heading one. So it looks much bigger. And finally, I will change the text color by choosing this text color icon and clicking on the arrow pointing downwards and here my preferred color is green, so let me pick that one. And the page looks now much, much better. Next step in the process is to publish this page. It's currently in a draft mode. So when I click publish, um, this is how this page is now official in a way, but it's not enabled yet. It says your page is live but it's not yet uh, enabled. So the next thing is to show you how you can actually turn th this page on and off whenever you want. So how do you do that? Well, first of all, you will have to click on this hamburger icon at the top left in your text editor or edit text editor section 
and click on that one and then click on the exit to dashboard uh, link. And then you will have to navigate to Elementor menu and there you can find tools. And the most important part for us is to pick the maintenance mode tab. So this is where all the maintenance mode settings are done. First of all, you have choose mode and currently disabled is selected by default. So it means that this page that we just designed, it's not live on your website, which is of course a great thing if, if you are not doing any maintenance work right now. So it has to be disabled, but you want to change this value. So instead of keeping disabled, you want to have the value maintenance. The next configuration is related to who can access your website without seeing the maintenance mode page whenever it's enabled. So default value is locked in. So those folks who can log into your website, they can bypass this maintenance mode page. But you can also choose some other values. So if I click on the arrow pointing down, I can choose the custom. And here I can define the roles that can bypass this maintenance mode page. I think in our case, choosing the administrator is the best fit in our scenario. So only admins can bypass uh, this maintenance mode page, but others, others will see the page whenever it's active on your website. And then finally, you will have to choose a template for your maintenance mode page. Once again, the selection here shows us that we have the one and only maintenance mode template that we already defined earlier in this video. So you will just have to choose this particular template. So let me choose that one and click save changes. What you will then notice is that you have the text maintenance mode on here at the top of the page. So that text tells us that the maintenance mode is now active on your website. But how does the page actually look for anyone who is not an administrator? Well, let me go over to maintenance mode uh, page, which I, I have open uh, in my other browser tab, and this is the way it looks. It's a very simple design, but I think that it will do its job very well. And once I have finished all the maintenance work, I will have to go back to my Elementor settings. So when you go to Elementor and Tools, uh, you will then have to change the mode from Maintenance to Disabled and then you will just have to click on save changes button and now the maintenance mode uh, on text is gone so that's the way you turn on and off the maintenance mode page we still have two things to go through in our tutorial and those things are how can you modify an existing template and also how you can get rid of an existing template and all you have to do is find the templates text here on your navigation bar on the left and then choose saved templates. And when you hover your mouse over your template name, you can find edit with Elementor text. And when you click this link, you can tweak your current design. Or if you want to get rid of the template, just click on the trash text and your template is gone. But as you can see, it's very easy to work with maintenance mode pages in Elementor and of course the best part is you can do all this completely free. That was the video this time. I hope that you liked this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will get back to you with another WordPress video soon. Bye bye.